Alexia. Because this is my theory on what I think is really going on in her marriage. Rock with me on this. Follow me on this. So as we all know, yes, Alexia is very obsessed with image and what people think in the persona of herself and her family and her relationship. Well, okay, duh. Basically, everybody on this show is obsessed with image and what people think or else they probably wouldn't be on a reality show. So I'm not really mad at her about that. But I think the real issue in her marriage with Todd has nothing to do with Adriana, has nothing to do with the show per se. I think by default, and I'll get a little bit more into that. I think the real, and I don't think anybody's cheating. I don't think he's cheating. I don't think she's cheating. I think the real issue is that Todd is a healthy masculine man. I think he's very emotionally intelligent. I think he has really effective communication skills. And I think that he has a very healthy masculine energy. He seems to me like a very healed, healthy man. On the flip side of that, Alexia, in my personal opinion, is very much in an unhealthy, dysfunctional, codependent relationship with her sons, primarily Peter. Obviously, when I say relationship, I'm not talking sexual. I'm not talking about a sexual relationship at all. So just clear that up for the people in the back. Duh, not talking sexual. But she, but her her the real man in Alexia's life is her son, Peter. Yes, we know Frankie. Yes, we know what happened to Frankie. Yes, we know he he, he is now is more, um he has more needs. I totally understand that. I get that. But the real person that Alexia is married to has always been her son, Peter. Always. She has always enabled him. She's always coddled him. She's always supported him. Um, even when he got caught, with, he got arrested for um, fighting his girlfriend physically fighting his girlfriend. Alexia was defending him. Oh, there's two sides to every story. She's really crazy, blah, 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 blah. It's like, this is the same son who um, fought a homeless man. Remember her son had fought the homeless guy and got in trouble with it? You know what I'm saying? And then also, what's also very telling is Todd foreshadowed her son, Peter, going to jail. He was like, if you don't stop, if you don't change your ways, you're gonna get arrested. You're gonna end up in jail. And then it happened. He got arrested and ended up in jail. And then also last season, Todd was very clear, like, you need to give Frankie the tools to be more of an independent man. Like, yes, you're doing a lot for Frankie, but you're doing it in a way that it's actually a disservice. I know he had, you know, his injuries, but people with brain injuries or disabilities, they still can become as independent and as, you know, empowered as they want to be. They don't have to be coddled and enabled in a certain ways. And I actually think Frankie kind of wants more of that. Remember at the very end of last season, he was getting enrolled in the program to help, um, you know, adults who have those types of disabilities and challenges be more independent as their parents, you know, get older, as their parents pass away trying to get them more equipped for the world to, you know, take care of themselves, yes, with support, but to be more independent because you can still live a fulfilled life, you know, with all of that stuff going on. But she so clearly is in a very toxic, unhealthy, dysfunctional, codependent relationship with her sons. Her man is Peter. Her man, her husband is her son. That's why Todd was disgusted when she was at the dinner talking about, um, oh, he's moved closer to us now. And I'm really excited about that because I really want to go buy him groceries. And Todd looked like he wanted to throw up. And he was like, you do know he's a 30-year-old man, right? Why are you buying your 30-year-old son groceries? This isn't like um, I'm popping in for the in, in town and I want to buy my child something nice because I'm visiting them. This is clearly an ongoing issue and an ongoing problem. And I think that Alexia is turned off by Todd because he is a healthy person who is holding her accountable for her dysfunction. And I don't think she wants to get healthy. I think she's very comfortable within the dysfunction of her dynamics with her sons. I don't think she wants to change. And I think that 
him reminding her of how dysfunctional and unhealthy she is as a parent is turning her off. She had disdain for him and bitterness and vice versa. I think because he is in his healthy masculine and is just a healthy person in general, I think that in the beginning, her beauty and their dynamic and the fun of everything yeah that was sexy that was a vibe that was chemistry but when all of that fades away and you really see the dysfunction in the other person and you see the lack of that person's not ability but willingness to change that is a turn off that is a complete turn off and I think that he is, to me, they both, Alexia and Todd, looked very, again, I'm not a doctor, I don't diagnose, but I do think they both looked very sad, very depressed even. I'm not saying like they are depressed people. I think it's situational. You know, like we've all been situationally depressed. Everybody in the world, if there's a certain situation going on, that is challenging. You can be depressed in those moments. Doesn't mean you suffer from depression, but within certain situations, you can be depressed in it. And so I think it's like situational. De they're depressed in it because clearly they're not happy. Clearly it's not working. I don't think they're really having sex anymore because you can kind of tell couples who are having sex and when they're not, they look kind of disgusted with each other. The dinner was very forced. And again, the entire night, all she talked about was her real man, which is Peter, her son. I'm sorry, but I don't want to talk about your son all day. Your, your son's a 30-year-old man who just got out of jail for beating up his girlfriend. I don't really want to talk about you buying him groceries. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to hear it. And it's very similar to people who are like, oh, my husband is married to work. You know, all he talks about is work. He's always at work. He never has any time for me. So whenever your spouse or your boyfriend or your girlfriend or your person or whatever is married to someone or something other than you, that is going to cause problems in your relationship, whether they are married to alcohol, whether they are married to dysfunctional codependent relationships with their children, whether they are married to cheating, whether they are married to work, whether they are married to going out with their friends. It's going to cause problems because you are always going to feel like you are not a priority, that you're not being listened to, that they're not spending time with you, and that you're not good enough and you're less than. You're going to feel like the odd person out in your own marriage whenever somebody else is married to something else. Think about it all the time. People are like, oh, my boyfriend wants to hang out with his friends all the time. Maybe he's married to his friends. You know, my husband works all the time. He's married to marriage. You know, my wife, um, I don't know, she shops all the time. These are all very stereotypical things I'm saying. I'm not trying to be, you know, stereotypical, but but clear examples that everybody kind of gets. You see what I'm saying? Um, and that is what I think is the core issue going on in their marriage. I think Alexia is completely comfortable in her dysfunction. I think she's completely comfortable being in a relationship with her sons. I think she's completely comfortable in that codependent, toxic relationship. And I think that Todd clearly is not comfortable with having a wife who operates on this level of dysfunction. He even said it last season. He was like, you guys go, you need to talk to someone. You guys need to get some professional help. And they sort of like scoffed at him and just came closer together. And I don't see that dynamic really ever changing. And I think that Todd is realizing this isn't the type of woman I want to be married to. And I think she's realizing this isn't the type of man I want to be married to. I think Alexia wants a man who is going to enable her dysfunction. And I think Todd wants a woman who is in her healthy feminine, her healthy energy, just a healthy person. You know what I'm saying? I think he wants a healthy wife who matches how healthy he is. And I think Alexia wants someone who enables her dysfunction. And I think that is the essence of their breakdown in their marriage. And I also think that he was embarrassed for how out of pocket he got. Because I do, I personally really do like Todd. But I didn't like what happened last season with um, 
against Dr. Um, Nicole's husband. I forget what his name is. But that to me was really weird, you know, going and then they did some social media beef and all this stuff. And then Todd did this weird, you know, super long video apology that was just really weird and bizarre. And people were kind of clowning him for that. I think he's embarrassed how caught up he got in the TV drama and how ca caught up he got in all of it. So I think that the core problem with their relationship is what I just said. But I think the reason why he didn't go to the dinner was because he's embarrassed because you can be a healthy person and still, you know, embarrass the hell out yourself. You know, I'm a pretty healthy person, but there's still times where I'm like, Candy, get your get your life together, girl. Like, what the hell are you doing? Like, you know better than that. Stop. So I think that's a moment he had. I think he kind of got caught up and kind of got out of character. And he probably feels a little bit embarrassed about how caught up in the reality world game that he was in. And I think it was more ego and being embarrassed about all that stuff, the social media and the apology and how he acted. I think that was like the real reason why he didn't show up. But I think the demise and the breakdown of their marriage is just that you have two funda fundamentally different people who are in different levels of consciousness and awareness in their life. So that's what I really think is going on with Alexia and her husband, Todd. I don't think there's any cheating. I don't think it's about necessarily anybody on the show in particular. I just think that these two people have quickly found out that they're actually not compatible on an, an emotional, spiritual, intellectual level. They're not on the same page and they're not compatible. So that's what I really think is going on. So I want to know what you guys think. Put it down below and be sure to like subscribe and share so i am going to drop the link in case anybody wants to 